Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install uh, Linux for your laptop, your PC, or basically anything. Well, except for phones. But you get the point. So, in my case, I have an old laptop here. Uh, it's a Compaq 6715S from uh, Hewlett Packard. And it's pretty old. It's about, probably, yeah, about maybe, maybe 10 years old. It has an AMD 64 Athlon. So it is decently old, and it does have a little bit of trouble running on Windows 7, so today I'm going to install um, Linux. Now the distro that we're going to be downloading today is Zorin OS, and specifically the light version. Now you can also choose the core version, and it's going to be the exact same steps, but I'm going to download light because this is an old PC, and I want it to run a little quicker. So let's get with the installation. So first, open up your browser, and then type Zorin. OS. They're gonna be brought here, Zorin OS, make your computer better. Just open that up. And there you're gonna find the download Zorin OS right here. You're gonna click that. And now you can choose, so you have Zorin OS 17.1 Pro, you have Zorin OS uh, Core, Zorin OS Education. Now if you want Zorin OS Lite, which I'm gonna install, just go down here and you're gonna find looking for Zorin OS Lite and you're gonna click get it here. Says getting Zorin OS Lite, just scroll down a little, and then you're gonna find download Zorin OS 17.1 Lite. Just click that, it's gonna take you to download. It's gonna start downloading now. Already downloaded, so I'm gonna just stop that. But if you want uh, the core version, you can just click this download, it's gonna download, or if you want education, but I'm gonna download Lite today. There. Now we need uh, a program to flash our. Uh, bootable drive. Now, before you do this, make sure that remove any important files from your USB, your CD, or whatever you're gonna flash it on, because it's gonna get deleted. All files are gonna get deleted, and you won't be able to use it anymore. I mean, you will be able to use it, but all your files are gonna be deleted. So make sure it's empty, you have nothing important on it, and yeah, just make sure it's empty and you don't have anything important on it. If you have anything important on it, just you know. Just empty it and you'll be fine. Okay, now go to etcher.io. So, this is a download site for Bellina Etcher. This is the program we're going to use to flash our ISO files. Now, just click here download etcher and then choose one of these. So, you know, enter for Windows. Uh, choose the installer. So, just click here download. It's going to take you to the download. I already downloaded so I don't need it. Then just run through the setup and it's gonna download. After you've done that, we're gonna open up. Now after the ISO, it has downloaded and the, the etcher is also downloaded. We're gonna open up uh, Bellina Etcher. Now, also plug in your uh, USB or CD. There we go, I've plugged in mine. So I already flashed up some stuff here, but just gonna close all that. Then click flash from file, and then find where you downloaded uh, the ISO. For me, it's uh, here in my download folder, Zorn OS 17.1 Lite 64-bit. And just open that, then select target, and then go generic, or for my case, it's a generic flash uh, disk USB device. Don't choose this, case uh, if it says system drive or source drive, don't do this. Only choose uh, the generic uh, flash disk USB device, okay? Only choose uh, your USB. Don't choose your system drive. So don't choose your system drive, because as you can see it says selecting your system drive is dangerous and will risk your drive, so don't do that. So only select generic or you know just any USB device that you see here. And click select one, and then click flash. It's gonna say starting. Uh, just click yes, and now it's gonna start to flash your uh, USB or your CD, whatever you're using. Uh, if this pops up, just click cancel to close it, and then it'll give you the estimated time here until it's gonna you know flash. So here it says about four minutes. So I'm gonna. Uh, see you when this is gonna be done. <clears throat> so it's also gonna say validating, but when it's done, it's gonna say flash completed and say one successful target. Then you can just close out of that and unplug your flash drive. 
Now, I will switch to the view of my laptop and I'm gonna see how to download it. Okay, so this is my laptop and this is the flash drive that I flashed with the disk image file. So now just plug it in to your laptop. And also a good thing to do is to plug in your ethernet cable because you probably won't uh, have a Wi-Fi on it. So that's also a good thing to do. Now turn it on and enter the boot menu. Now turn it on and you're gonna enter the boot menu, which in my case is gonna be F9, so it might just say that. Yeah, so just open the boot device menu. So it says HP or Ethernet boot agent, or whatever it's gonna say. Now I'm gonna choose USB hard disk. Now on your computer it might say the name of the USB or you know just find something that states USB okay it's probably gonna also state the name of the USB or uh, something along the lines of USB I'm gonna boot it from the USB hard disk and now we're gonna wait so you're gonna get these options here so we have try to install Zorin OS uh, with try to install Zorin OS save graphics and power off and in this case we're gonna go try or install Zorin OS just press enter and then just wait a little bit until it's gonna show you something like this now it might show you just an empty screen like this with um, like this line right here so just wait until that goes away and after some time you're gonna see the Zorin OS logo appear right here and it's gonna flash and then it's gonna say uh, you know checking MD5 sums so this is just gonna run through all of this and you're just gonna wait until that says a hundred percent and when that's a hundred percent then we can continue on with the installation so as you can see it's done right there so it says check finished and no errors so then you're gonna see this Zorin OS logo again just flashing so just wait for that to do its thing and then then it's gonna say you know Zorin in these uh, nice capital letters then you're gonna be greeted with this wallpaper right here now you're just gonna wait a little until there we go. There's our mouse cursor. I just wait until there's like a GUI menu prompt. So you're gonna get something like this. So the top is gonna say installed, then it's gonna say welcome, and then here you have a list of languages. So just choose your language here. In my case, just gonna be English. Then you have these two buttons. We have try Zorin OS, and we have install Zorin OS. So you can just try it, uh, you know, to see if it's good. But in my case, I'm just gonna install it directly. So I'm gonna click install Zorin OS. Yeah. Then it's just gonna load up the installation. Then you're gonna see keyboard layout. So you can uh, type here to test the keyboard layout. Or you can uh, click detect keyboard layout. And then it's gonna say, please press one of the following keys. That's gonna detect your keyboard layout, which in my case is Croatian. So I just click continue. And then just wait for it. Then it's gonna say updates and other software. So you know, download updates while installing Zorin OS, install third party software, graphics, and Wi Fi. Or you have don't participate in the census. So you can just click uh, continue. I'm just gonna leave it how it is. Uh, you can choose, you know, you can deselect or select one of these. But I'm just gonna leave it as is. So it's gonna say preparing Ubuntu drivers. Now it says Ubuntu because this is just a fork of Ubuntu. This is just a, you know, version of Ubuntu, I guess you could call it. And I'll just wait for this uh, to do its thing. Now I'm just gonna pop up an installation type. So it says this computer record has no detected operating systems. In my case, because I've already deleted all the operating systems. But it might say at the top, you know, keep Zorin OS and Windows. So you can choose that. But I'm gonna go erase disk and install Zorin OS. So it says uh, this will delete all your programs, documents, photos, music, and any other files in the operating systems. Or you can do something else. But today, for this video, I'm just gonna go erase this and install Zorin OS. If there's also a pop up uh, saying, you know, install Zorin OS alongside Windows, you can choose that, but I would choose this. Erase disk and install Zorin OS, so this is gonna be my main operating system. Then just click install now. It's gonna load up the installation. You might also get something like this, so write the changes to disks, just click continue. Just let it do its thing. Now you'll get something like this, you know it says where are you, so just choose 
your region or your city, just try to get like, you know, try to choose directly. So mine's somewhere over here. Zagreb. Mine's gonna be Zagreb, so I'm just gonna click continue. So you don't have to put the exact city. So you have your name and your computer's name. And then you can just change all of these right here. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and fill this out. So there, I filled it up, and you have to the password. You don't have to put in a password. You can just click, uh, you know, log in automatically, or you know, requirement password to log in. You can choose whatever you want. So you can enter your name here, and then we're just gonna click continue. I'm just gonna go uh, install uh, creating EXT4 file system for. In partition 3 for SCS 140 USB. So you can just ignore all this that it says, it's not very important to you. Then you're just gonna wait for all of this to complete, and then we can go on to the next step. After it's done copying the files, what you're gonna see is installing system. Now, this takes a little longer than all the other ones. So you just have to be patient, and well, it's gonna install eventually. <laughs> After all of that is done, you will see this window that says installation complete. You need to restart the computer in order to use a new installation. So we'll just click restart now. Then, now that's going to <coughs> restart your computer, and you'll be able to use Zorn. So let's wait for that to restart. So if you still haven't uh, unplugged your USB or CD, it's going to say please remove the installation media and press enter. So just unplug and then just click enter. And then it's going to restart. So let's just wait for that. Then you'll see the Zorin OS logo again. You know, flashing. Then after it reboots, <coughs> you should see this screen right here. And then here, you're just gonna type in your password. You're gonna type in your password. Then you're gonna wait for it to log you in. Now you have this Welcome to Zorin OS. Now you can start the tour, or you can just go No Thanks. I'm gonna click No Thanks, and there we go. Now we have Zorin OS set up. So we have the start menu right here, we have the settings, we have your documents right here, and all that stuff. We have the file manager right here. All your directories. We can go like uh, desktop settings or your desktop icons. The network right here. Now, if you're having issues here, if your laptop, like mine, has this uh, Wi-Fi connector right here, adapter, or card, whatever you want to call it, you can connect to wireless, but there's no wireless networks. What you can do is go over here and type in a system. Uh, so you're going to go here and find settings. I'm gonna go down over here. I'm gonna find software and updates. So just open that. Then it's gonna open up uh, your software updater. Then click additional drivers. And it's gonna say searching for available drivers. So just wait for that to finish. And as you can see here, we have. Broadcom Inc. and Subbiters, uh, WLAN. So it says this device is not working, so it says do not use the device. Instead, click using Broadcom, then click apply changes. So it's gonna say applying changes. Now, type in your password here. Oh, sorry, I think I typed it wrong. So, just type in your password. And then you're just gonna wait for this to apply the changes. And after that, we can see you need to restart the computer to complete the driver changes. So we can just click restart, and then this is going to restart your computer again. So just click uh, restart, 
And now this is just going to restart your computer again. So we'll just wait for that to finish. So just go ahead and log back in after it's restarted. Present your password. And now we can go ahead and unplug our Ethernet. Just fold this back up. So now I can just unplug my Ethernet. And now that I've restarted and enabled my uh, driver, it says Wi Fi networks. Oh. It says. Wi-Fi. It said no, Wi Fi networks available, but I don't know why I didn't want to focus. But now I can go down over here where it says network, and then I have a list of networks right here. So this is my network. I'm going to connect. Then I'm just going to enter. The password for it. And I'm gonna click connect. It says connection established and I'll connect to the Wi-Fi network. And now I have a wireless Wi-Fi, so I don't need the Ethernet game anymore. So now you can do whatever the hell you want. So you can use one appearance and say change this to dark mode. You know you have Zorin appearance right here. So I have to have it like this. You can have it like this too. Or just your folder and everything. And then we have theme right here. We have like Zorin, other. So we can change the background to dark, which I like. I'm gonna change it to dark mode. Oh, there we go. Have a desktop. The icon the desktop. I'll put trash on it. Maybe home. We have the fonts here. It's so gonna change right over right there. And here we have some settings here too. Accessibility, appearance, Bluetooth adapters, default applications, firewall configuration. You know, we got a lot of stuff here that you can you know, play around with, time date upgrades or in. And now we can actually go here to the software updater and see if there's any updates that we can install. So I'll just wait for that. So let's wait for it to boot up. So it's going to check for the updates. So let's wait for that. And so we have software updater. So updated software is available for this computer. Do you want to install it now? So I can the details right here. So it's already seen me. So just click install now. Then it's just going to install all the updates. Well, we can also just wait for that. So now it says the software on this computer is up to date, so just click OK. And there we go. We have now installed Zorin OS, aka Linux, onto our computer. And now you can do whatever you want with it. You know, you can download some stuff, download browsers, uh, you know, do whatever you want. So yeah, that's how to install Zorin OS or Linux onto your computer. Thank you for watching this uh, nice tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.